and welcome to Fitness with Meg. Today we're here with another yoga block workout. We're going to be doing three minutes of bird dogs with our yoga block. So if you are ready, we're going to need two today. If you don't have any, that's okay. You can still do these moves without it. And go ahead and get on your mat and let's begin. Okay, so we're going to be using both of our yoga blocks today. Go ahead and come up into tabletop position on all fours and you are going to bring your first yoga block underneath that left hand here, and your next yoga block is going to be underneath your right knee here. And we are going to begin here, have your left leg out in the air, and your right leg out in front of you, and we are just going to come up. So we are doing this move for one minute, and 30 seconds, we're just going to pulse up, up, up. Lifting up here, if the pulsing is getting a little bit too tough for you at any time, you can just stop and do an isometric hold of this bird dog move. But otherwise, just keep lifting up and up and up. So this move is a total body move here. We are working our shoulders and our arms here when we are pulsing up out in front of us. We are working our glutes and our legs with our leg pulsing up and we are also targeting and toning that core here by holding this position. Normally bird dogs already work our core, but since we are on top of these yoga blocks, we are doing a little bit more balance here. So that requires us to work on our core more than if we were just on the floor. And if you don't have your yoga blocks, you can still do these bird dogs without them. You can just do these on the floor, on your hands and knees and not on anything here. Y'all are doing great. Just keep pulsing, pulsing, pulsing. And if this bothers your wrist, you can always come up onto fists. Whatever works best for you. In five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, coming down. We're going to switch now. So you can move that other yoga block underneath where your right hand is going to be and the other block underneath your left knee here. So coming up into tabletop here, Lift your right leg out in the air, your left hand out in front of you, and now we're just going to pulse for that minute and 30 seconds here. You are already halfway done with this workout, so don't stop now, keep going. So try and have your right toes pointed that are up in the air here, but if you can't do that right now, I'm focusing on that, is too much for you, that's okay. And so our left foot here, that is on the ground here, you can have it like I do right now, with my toes resting on the ground, or you can also have them pointing and lifting up. This version requires a little bit more of a balance as well. So have your gaze looking forward, but if you have to turn to look at me on the screen, that's okay as well. You're doing great. Keep up the great work. We're working our total body here. And lift up, up, up. So I have my toes and my fingernails and my toenails matching here with this really pretty blue ombre color. We go from this really pretty light blue to a more darker shade of blue. It's perfect for this cold wintry months. And lift up. Up, up, y'all are doing so good. And five, four, three, two, and one. Congrats on finishing this workout. I'm super proud of y'all. Be sure to comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you have not already. And thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.